Hey guys, Mel the Train Tutor back in the naughty corner, yeah, with another tutorial for you. Now with this one, we're sort of jumping back in time. Yeah, some of you long tooth veterans of the channel will remember the wire armature tree, yeah? Okay, we looked at this uh, a couple of years ago, and uh, we did two videos. One, we did a video on uh, the basic wire armature. We're going to do more videos along those lines soon. And then we looked at using our lichen, yeah, lichen, not liking, lichen. Lichen for, for the actual foliage, etc. Now, the plan was at the time to continue the series, but we got sort of off track, you know, went through the year of hell and all that sort of plot. Yeah, so what I wanted to do is jump back here yeah, and show you a couple more techniques. And in this technique, what I want to do is show you another way of getting realistic trees and sort of recycle this before we move on to the next ones because I've got a load of bark and twigs and stuff that are drying and getting ready for the next armature vid. Yeah, so before I strip this down and we move on, I just wanted to show you the next step and that's called flocking. Yes, we're going to flock a tree. Uh, you've heard of tree hugging, we're, we're tree flocking, <laughs> yeah? So, let me get it sorted, I'll bring you to, over to the workbench, yeah, and we'll get cracked on. Come on. Okay, we've laid down some paper and we've got our pretty little tree here, and as you can see, it does look gorgeous. Now, as per the other videos, you know, we've got a basic wire armature spread out to a couple of thick trunks, and then with the foliage in, what we did is we used the clumpiest parts of the lichen, yeah, and hot glued it down. We didn't use PVA yet. You could use a, a, a latex glue, of course, you know, stay tacky glue, that would work just as well. Okay, now in this video, we're going to use this as a substructure. So, we've got a tree to this stage, we've got our, our lichen sort of hot glued on, and if I bring it round, you can sort of see. Yeah, see my blobs? <laughs> poor job, folks, poor job. I know, I know. Yeah? Now, I'm going to, oh, in the middle. I'm going to be a little bit lazy because I don't really want to have to repaint the base and, and, the, and the sort of main trunk. Okay, yeah, so I'm going to wrap this round with some watch clip, some cling film. Now, the reason for that is that this isn't actually sturdy enough for what we want to do. And what we want to do is flock it. Yeah, so we're going to prime it. And I'm going to use a black primer. A dark, pri dark watch clip. Really dark red, really dark brown, and black primers are brilliant for this. So, I'm going to wrap this up and get it protected, and then we'll come back once I've got that done, guys. So, we've got our tree all bagged up. Yeah, I've covered most of it. Yeah, it'll do for this. Right, uh, next job is to prime it. Okay, now, uh, I've got simple Max Spray Primer. Uh, if you've got an airbrush and you want to throw some paint out, some decent paint, you may have to do a couple of coats to get it stiff enough, but I just want to firm this up and give it a, you know, get rid of the greenery off it. Okay, so, we give it a spray. I'm spraying inside, I'm going to, so get in, going to get in trouble for this. Mmm, wiggle it. Yeah, that is on camera, isn't it? Yeah, I want a decent coating. I want to get rid of that green. Yeah, so lots of little. I don't want to flood it, yeah, because it becomes so obvious then. So spin it round. And then I flood it. Sod it. Yeah, and then just the top. Don't get it on your hands, folks. Should have wore gloves. Yeah, obviously, do it in a well-vented area. Don't do it in your kitchen with the door shut like I am. Yeah. Every time I move, I find a new bit. I think we've got it. Oh, no. Oh, and a bit of that. There we go. How about that? So there we have it. Now all we need to do is leave this to dry. Okay, guys, it's all sprayed up. And you'll have to forgive the sound of the washing machine. Kids' uniforms have got to be done for the morning. And we're cracking on. It's the way we roll. Right, that's all been given a spray. And if I bring it up, I've missed a couple of places. But you can sort of see. Yeah, and it is a lot firmer. Okay, a lot firmer. So, that's our substructure sorted. Hot glue li litching on. Yeah, sprayed with a primer. And obviously, we would paint the tree afterwards with this sort of project. But we've got our sort of... You know, cling film. Right, next job is we need to get an adhesive on this. Now, you could use watered down PVA, but I wouldn't recommend it. 
Okay, yeah, for me, I'm using simple spray latex base adhesive. Yeah, you can get 3M and all sorts. Okay, and it is just a matter of coming along. And you may, need to make sure you get a good covering. Yeah, luckily, as you can see, it goes wide. Now, this is stay tack, which means we're in no rush to actually get the foliage on afterwards. Yeah. Just quickly check under. And the edges. Yeah. There we go. Right. Doesn't look all frosty. Next job. Simple hobby flock. Yeah, fog standard green. I just got to stick down to that. And what I'm going to do is just dunk it. Yeah. Come on, just one dunk at all. Give it to me. Delicious ice cream. Told you it was messy. Come on, get on. Have I missed anywhere? Yeah, I don't think I've missed anywhere, but just in case. Yeah. And just let me move that to the side. I don't mind losing a little bit of flock for this. It's worth it to show you. There you go, guys. How fan dabby dozy is that? Now we're not finished. Yeah. Now, as you can see, because it's a stay tight, very little blows off, okay? But I want to take it up a little notch, okay? So, pulling in a trick that we've done before, yeah? Bit of hairspray, yeah? And a little bit of blast on the top, yeah, just on the top, okay? Yeah, see how it's gone darker? Now, I've got some uh, foregrounds, uh, lighter leaf foliage. You could just use lighter flock for this if you wanted to. It's the principle that matters. And we're going to come along and we're going to just sprinkle it on just a little bit. I want to see you sprinkle it on just a little bit. You tell them in a good... You see, I love doing trees, guys. I really do. And I like doing this sort of stuff and showing you guys, you know what I mean? I mean, the, the back to basics are good and the terrain labs are okay. We need those answers. But this... This is the stuff that makes me smile. Really. Right, a little bit around here, so I don't want to go too heavy. Right, give it a quick seal again. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let me bring that up. Look at that. Okay, right, I'm just going to give this a couple of minutes just to settle down. Yeah, I'm going to peel off. Let's shut. Can we peel off? Yeah, and if we just, yeah, I think it might be, I'm going to do this off camera because it would be a bit fiddly, but if I pull that down to there, you see our tree, yeah, right, let me get cleaned up guys and we'll have a chat and I'll show it off. So there we have it guys, now just off camera what I did do and I forgot to mention was, uh, after I highlighted it, I gave it another quick spray of the hairspray, yeah, just to fix those little highlight flecks in, in place and if I bring it up. Yeah, that is the effect you get. Okay, yeah. You'll notice my bad here. Look at that. I've flopped the branch. Yeah, it's quick and easy, you know. You know what it's like when I'm trying to do these tutorial guys. Yeah, but hopefully you get the technique. And if I bring it under, you can sort of see underneath. Yeah, and hopefully if I hold it like that, you can see how those flex work. So, dead simple. That's how we transformed a bit of lichen. Yeah, sorry, lichen. Yeah, some flock. Yeah, and a little bit of highlighting. Yeah, into awesome tree foliage, absolutely awesome tree foliage. Okay, now, spray it black with a primer, yeah, you can use an airbrush for that, yeah, that's perfectly fine, it's not a problem, guys. Yeah, but primer's quicker and easier, and it's about sturdying it up as much as uh, undercoating. I mean, if I feel this, you can sort of see it's, it's losing a little, but it's going to take a fair bit of wargaming. If you're concerned about how much hammer it's going to get, then... Because we've used the fast tack latex based glue, yeah, that's impervious to water, so you're not going to wash this off by giving it a, 
uh, what you call it, a coating of watered down PVA. Say a one to five solution of water to PVA, ideally put through an airbrush, but if you can put it through an atomizer, that's perfectly fine. I wouldn't recommend dunking it, guys. Okay, of course you can fix it, firm it with a bit more hairspray, yeah, but alternatively, you know, you've got spray matte varnish which will firm it up. I don't actually want to firm this up because, yeah, well I'll explain in a second, yeah, but anyway guys, yeah, before we go to the long shot, oh you enjoyed this as much as I did, oh it's, this stuff really puts a smile on my face, love it. Right, long shot time. So folks, there you have it. Really easy, simple, yeah, using the uh, lichen, so lichen, as a, she, she's looking at me <laughs> and smiling, yeah, They're using the, the lichen as the substructure and then flocking it. Now, of course, you can use other things to flock it on top. You can use uh, really fine clump foliage, etc. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking more at realistic scenic trees, yeah, we're going to be looking at different sort of substructures. Yeah, so I've got a few of those to show you. We're going to be looking at a few different effects as well that you can sort of do. And on top of that, we're going to be looking at a few different armatures. Quick question, armatures wise. Do you want realistic twigs and branch armatures video first, or do you want a realistic sort of wire tree? You know, you know this is a pretty basic one. I'm talking one with lots of little wires. Just let me know in the comments. Okay, guys, and I'll get that sorted for you as the next sort of tree video. Yeah, that'll be after the hill video I'm working on, because we've got some rocks, and I now taught you how to do really nice rocks, and we're doing the foot. It's going to look beautiful. See, that's why I love this stuff. Right, guys, as always, yeah, any comments in the comments, any suggestions, anything you want me to try out, any questions in the comments. Yeah, like it if you like it, share it if you know someone who will find it helpful. As always, yeah, there's the Patreon thing, guys. That's what keeps this stuff coming. This, look at it. It's beautiful. That's what your support creates. These things that I can share with you. So seriously, guys, if you use it, if it saves you money, if you like it, consider it, guys, yeah? You make an old man very happy. Graham, see it? Right. Until the next video when we're either going to be doing a hill or... Well, I think it's going to be a hill, to be truthful, because I'm halfway through. Right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. All the best, yeah? In fact, I'll see you Sunday night. All the best, yeah? Ta-da.